I'm quite certain that if you try to name every five cylinder you can think of, a large portion of all the five cylinders existing could be named. There really isn't that many of them around and although many manufacturers produced at least a single one, it has never really found its perfect place. In this video I will show you the largest five cylinder power plants out there. General Motors Vortec 3.7 Launched in 2004, I suppose there isn't a stranger engine layout for an American car than a 5-cylinder. This inline engine series called the Atlas did offer a 3.5 liter and later, with an increased bore, a 3.7 liter Vortec unit made of aluminium with dual cams. Only a handful of car models received it including an Isuzu truck and a Hummer H3. Besides twin balancing shafts, the engine featured VVTi as well. Deutz F5L Deutz model numbering is pretty straightforward, and for an F5L it stands for a high-speed, 5-cylinder, air-cooled motor of such series, like the 912 or 413. While the larger 8-liter 413 is not available as new anymore, the 912 and 914 have been in production for some time now. Besides the air cooling, there was a turbocharger as an option, and some were even indirect injected. Krupp Tiger Krupp's 5-cylinder, developed in the 1950s in Germany, is a bit different from the majority of diesel 5-cylinders. It runs on a two-stroke cycle with a blower feeding the combustion chambers, producing 184 horsepower at the beginning, later with up to 200 horsepower, being often used in trucks and fire trucks. <laughs> Scania DC9. This Swedish company is renowned for V8 powered semis and straight fives for their bus series, although it was also present in lighter trucks. The engine is called according to its 9 litre displacement, and some models can have a combination of the DC9 and a 176 horsepower electric motor with 1050 newton meters of torque. Initially, it was a 8.9 liter, later upscaled to 9.3 liter thanks to a larger bore, using twin balancing shafts to smoothen out its run and prolong the engine's lifespan. MAN D2865. This 5 cylinder MAN is less known and not many details are laying around on the internet, but certainly as a 10 litre engine belongs here. It seems to be popular in Russia as many sources are in Russian, however, Neoplan also used it in their N4021 bus series from 1994 to 1995. 
its power ranged from 260 to 320 horsepower as it was turbocharged and also intercooled. DDF. The D64 Russian tank was fitted with a compact outpost piston engine with five cylinders, dubbed the 5DD and 5DDF. It could burn various sorts of fuels, although technically it was a diesel engine. The power plant was known as notoriously unreliable and burned 300 to 450 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. 0.8 to 0.5 mpg. Blackstone EPV-5. There is an ancient diesel-powered 5-cylinder engine from around the 1920s, used mainly as a marine engine or water pump. The operating speed is from 250 to 600 rpm, usually a cruising speed of 425 to 450 rpm is enough. An air start system requires a pressure of 20 bar for a cold start. However, a warm start is fine with just 10 to 12. Ruston Hornsby 5 VCB. This company was founded in 1918 currently being under Siemens, making a wide range of combustion engines with a handful of five cylinders on their account. This one is water-cooled, vertically placed, and as a medium-speed diesel engine, it appeared in vehicles too. Specifically, it was an excavator called the Ruston Bicyrus 54RB. Mirlis 5 cylinder. Mirlis is a very old company that later during its active years studied Rudolf Diesel's concept and decided to purchase a diesel engine license. The first model was a 1 to 6 cylinder series with an air blast injection system, meaning a compressed air pushes fuel through the injector nozzle. This injection system was used for some time, even on this 5 cylinder with 60 horsepower per cylinder. It was a total loss oil lubricated engine mounted most often as marine auxiliaries, tugs, or tin dredgers. Fairbanks Moss Type 32E. This, being a 32E model, represented a two stroke diesel engine using either two various types of air pumps or crankshaft scavenging for air induction, like gasoline two strokes we know. 
The engine start is carried out by 17 bar of compressed air being able to run either direction as a two-stroke. The Model 32 was in production from around 1930s, mainly for power plant use. This particular running at Northern Minnesota. Pretty soon you'll be seeing the lights come on. 